going on guys we're back here continued right where we left off with uh telltale's batman so let's go inside this building and see what's in store for us here make sure you leave a like and a subscribe comment if you'd, if you'd like not a good scene here this wasn't a handoff it was a massacre how many I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. This does not look good, huh? Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Oh, we can't walk again. Nothing left to bury. Oh, wait, wait, there's something here? Items to be linked. Related items. All right, let's look up then. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it, but the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Now we can walk. All right, let's see. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Should we open this, I guess? Is this shrapnel? Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Alright, so let's keep walking around for a little bit here. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? She's missing an eyeball. Nice. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. I mean, like the croc. Killer croc. Skylight Club. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Ugh. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. 
broken nails, bits of human flesh. All right. Now we gotta link all this together, right? Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Oh, wait. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Alright, so I think we just gotta link all this up. Oh, wait, what's this? Something was here when the explosion occurred. I guess that's it. The cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. Is that right? God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. And what's this? That's right, right? What was this one again? Ah, uh, maybe that. Is that right? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Is that Link's correct? Alright, very good. Oh, is that it? No. Explosion. So that can't be right. Where are you going, Batman? Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Oh wow, there we go, that was easy. Falcone be leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Jesus. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir.
Yep. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Man, I'm on a roll today. Okay, let's see. Cigarette. Still lit. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Oh, then he really? should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop, Sandalu. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell this guy. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Someone must have heard us called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Please don't. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals are some kind of explosive. A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're a fat man! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! I think I need to call the coroner instead. I'll talk to Gord. Could be a bad decision, but we'll see. Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Falcone was behind this. Falcone? I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're taking this too far, Bruce. Huh. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. No, he didn't. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. 
especially now during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave, You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Constantly talk about our parents don't this episode. That. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Sometimes this job requires hard decisions. You're the right man to make them. In fact, I think you're the only one who can. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. See what I mean? That they night, constantly that talk about way. it. It made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Of course I won't I'm accept it. Yeah, tear him Neither up. will I. Well, back into the fray again. All right, Codex. I'm always scared to check the Codex just because. Uh, I remember what happened last time? We'll check it. Who's new in here that we got, anyways? Maybe Catwoman's updated? I don't think anyone's really new. here and you guys can pause if you ever want to read it I want to kind of get going with this story here so I'm just gonna hop right back to the back computer well, looks like that egg finally cracked and inside Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined this is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization what in the world was Hill doing with all this Legal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. That's Lieutenant right. Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. Vicky Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Oh boy, of course. Or who you think could do the most good. What do you think, Vicky or Gordon? Come on, man, this is tough. I like Vicky Vale because obviously she, she's cute and you want to get with her, and then you got Gordon. But half the police force is corrupt. Oh, man, this sucks. I'm gonna do Vicky. Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman through the air. By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet.
Looks like it's about to get good. Let's go. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You need an ally, let's go, baby. Anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this, I'd say you got one for life. Yeah, buddy. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, I... God, it might be an obituary. I'll protect you, I promise. <laughs> Chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. Yes, I am. I always think. Crime in the city. It's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head. Three more appear in its place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Batman's a symbol of hope. And that is better than any army. If Gotham can rally around him, right now he's just a monster of the week. Ouch. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. This guy looks a lot like Archer. I never watched the TV show Archer, but... It's done. I see Good. ads. So is our hunt. Like the drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. That was good. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. All right, so we're going to scan for this guy. Let's see if it's obviously not him. Good point of entry. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you a mom? Not anymore, I'm not. We got a few. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Funny. I'm always his alibi. So Nikki's the guy that almost broke his arm, I'm assuming. What do we got here? You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy my ass. I know you burned powder at night. The whole city can smell it. Being able to look at it. Is 
the rose sigil. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Damn. Okay, bad. Uh, another entry point, maybe? Oh, his office. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. What the heck? Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. I think I'm gonna like decide all this and it's just all gonna happen. It's gonna play out how I decide. Let's see. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, is that one right there? Another mobster? Large coffee table. What's this? Let's do the folding screen. Two out of the four. Alright, what's what can we do with this guy? Throw him into the pillar. Because it's our only option, right? So it's three out of four, and then there's one right outside. Got it covered out. Alright, that one's easy. So now I think we're probably just gonna play it all out, right? Probably some quick time events. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. Go. One down. Two down. Damn, dude. Audio, man. How about this one? All right, now it seems like the audio might be back. Do you think that's gonna work? I'm gonna light up. Oh, 
What up? Get your goddamn hands off of my suit! I... You know my... Bring to your TVs. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid! Holy... just happened hey a and R right which is what I did let's see what he says explosives arm now it recognizes our team right, before it wouldn't now it does all right what are we shooting at right here ah! see there there I hit LT it makes no sense Calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. What if it's Harvey? dead best. What if it's Harvey? <laughs> he is Two Face. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? Someone was trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Tell me who. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Ah. Gotham. It's an easy decision, really. I mean, you gotta play like the real Batman. You're not gonna brutalize them on TV. Spill it, Falcone, while you still can. Harvey Dent. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the Waynes. Are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! What? street level tonight the skyline club a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown gotham was the arena for a clash between the notorious batman and alleged mob boss carmine falcone who was found dangling over a 50-story drop bet falcone loved that view <laughs> though i'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale. Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. 
Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Uh-oh. Alfred! I think that's it. That's it, guys. First episode done. Let's see what our choices look like, huh? Alright, so do you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcon? Alright, so we were right there. What else we got? Who didn't provide a quote for Vicky Vale? That's the real question. Wow, that's pretty much half and half, huh? We did not break his arm. Oh, look at that. We're in the minority big time on the Vicky Vale story. Alright. I mean, we can hit continue, but it's not gonna... The new uh, episode isn't out yet. When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Oh, this must be the trailer for the next episode. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. And swear to me, there's no truth to it. That scoop you brought me on Falcone helped me more than you could Possibly now. I owe you one. I'm sure Falcone's taken harder beatings in the past. Hopefully, this one knocks something useful out of him. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to distance myself. Of course. I will find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. And that's the trailer for season two. I mean, episode two, guys. All right, so I had fun with this. Uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to episode two whenever it comes out. And whenever it does, it'll be right up on the channel, guys. So make sure you like, subscribe, tell all your friends, leave some comments. Tell your grandmother, of course, don't forget Gramps. All right, guys, take it easy and have a lovely day. I'll see you later.